We're giving away hundreds of dollars of Revzilla gift cards. Stay to the end of the video to figure out how to enter and win. Car, 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 car. Good braking, baby. Woo! Got a little, got a little poo poo in his pantalones. All right, so we're riding around. Uh, we're gonna make a, a a turn right here. Okay, so it's obvious we're gonna make a turn. Now, this is why it's so important to have vision, amazing vision, good vision, and then being prepped and ready on cornering just in case you have to do any type of red stage maneuver. Very important. And this guy did an amazing job. I'm going to say, I keep saying guys, but guys, when I say guys, I mean just dudes. How It's hard for me to just say, it's like a general term. Anyways, uh, we're moving into here and... All right, so we're turning, we're turning. We got a car here, so that should give you like, okay, well, there's a car there, not a big deal, right? Because they, they might be going straight. We got this gore area that's going to separate us. Not a big deal, right? Okay, but still, you should be in orange state, so you should not be taking this turn going crazy. No knee down on this, guys. Let's not do that. Uh, you need to have good, proper body positioning, but uh, take this one slow to where you don't even need body positioning. Just turn like a normal motorcyclist, and then we're going to ride, we're going to ride, we're going to ride, and... We're going to now have sun in the eyes, so that could easily be a factor, but that's not going to be playing a huge role in here. Remember, we, we go through the root cause analysis trying to figure out all the potential factors that are involved here. Uh, he's got good lane positioning. He's, he's going to be doing fine here. We don't know what this car is going to do yet. Uh, this car is going to make a quick adjustment in where they're going. All right. Soon as you see these tires, soon as you see these tires, you should get ready for that red stage maneuver, okay? The tires and the whole body frame started to turn, but, it, man, it's pretty scary because we're in the middle of a turn, right? So what do we do in that situation? We're turning, we're turning. We stand it up straight, and the handlebars are straight, and then apply some brake pressure. So what happened here was an amazing job. Uh, you can learn some advanced skills where you're applying some braking pressure throughout the turn. That's a trail braking. And then it's, it makes it to where you have that traction already to where you can squeeze just a little bit more and you can slow down quite a bit. Even in a turn, uh, it's an advanced skill. Take an advanced class for that. But right here, he's doing an amazing job when it comes to standing it up. So uh, let's see what happens there. See how it's straightened up? So this was really good. I absolutely uh, – amazing job. This is not the United States, so you guys have some great training uh, wherever this is at. But amazing job, amazing job. Everything's straightened up. Everything's straightened up. And he applied progressive brake pressure. So once you get a little bit of brake pressure on that front tire, once you get a little bit of weight on that front tire, you can squeeze more and more and more. And that means you can go from, you know, 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 100. Super quick. You don't have to do 10. Okay, now 20. Okay, now 30. Okay, now 40. No, you could do 10, 20. Then you feel that weight transfer. Boom, you could squeeze it in pretty good. And you should be fine. But great job stopping or slowing down just enough. And here's the thing. The one thing that really saved him was not hauling ass through this corner. If he was going way faster, he would have already impacted. Or he would have tried to apply more and more brake pressure when he wasn't stopping in time. And then, boom, dumped the bike. So speed, the right amount of speed, maybe even slower You know, on some of these turns, are going to really help you whenever it comes to an emergency situation. It's very important to do the right speed because you wouldn't be able to stop in time. And that's, that's the whole deal. A lot of motorcyclists don't do that. They like the speed. They like to go fast. I get it. I understand it. But the thing is, go ahead and slow it down a little bit because you never know what's around that corner. If you can ride around without gear, well, you're not a very smart rider. Click the link in the description to enter to win hundreds of dollars in Revzilla gift cards. We're doing this every single month. So if you don't win right now, you can possibly win next month. But if you sign up as a tier one to tier four, you get my ebook for free too. Check it out. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Click, click, click. Link in description.